Morgan! What the? Okay. That is. What the hell is that? Holy crap. Um, I don't think I'll be able to shotgun that one. Let's scan the giant ass typhoon. Holy moly. Oh, oh, oh. I just died. Was I supposed to die? Oh, okay. There was a lot of screaming. So let's scan that thing again. So once I scanned it, I died. But if I can pull up the menu. So now pull up the menu. I need to be able to eat like a whole bunch of stuff up there. So now what's happening? self destruct Oh, Alex is actually unconscious. Cherished family photo and the biohazard waste. So, I researched it, but we get to Alex before he dies. Yeah, and then, what do I need to do with him? What do I need to do with him? Put Alex in his safe room. Use the voice lock to shut the safe room door. Okay, if I want him to live, I need to get him to the safety of his bunker before he runs out of air. Okay. Let's get him in here. Let's put him over here. Use the voice lock to shut the door. The keypad is over there. Um... No, no, I need to do it from the outside, probably. Um, okay. I didn't check what else was in the room. Which is a problem. But I saved Alex. I didn't let him die. That was all I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, this thing is... This thing is in. Damn. Well, that just took a turn. Um, there's a few things we can do now. Oh, he's actually breaking the glass, by the way. But yeah, aside from the giant holes he already made. But he's trying to go around the entire station. Wow. Okay. Um, question is... <laughs> Um, what do we do now? So we can either follow Alex's plan or we just blow the ship up. Let's see if we can't do both for the sake of the series because I want to see both endings. And are we going to do this in this episode? I think we're going to do that in this episode. We know where to go. We know what to do. Unless this gets even more complicated, I don't think it will matter much. So, I need a fabricator for the null wave device. So I'm gonna be able to do that just right away if I go down here. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ow, 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 ow. There's giant tentacles running around. Ow. How the. What the. F it's definitely hurting me, but. Oh, it's good. It's complete. It's a tentacle, but... Okay. Oh, come on. Get off me. So, it clearly doesn't want me to um, interfere. I think I'm pretty safe. Oh, God. I'm going to be stuck in a minute. So, if I want to get to the fabricator, it's over here. Is this thing still hostile? Doesn't seem to be. But everything seems to be broken here as well, so I don't know how I'm even gonna create this. Okay, now I got one scan for the tendril. There we go, that's the third one. So that's probably the... Oh, gold. Oh, gold. 
Oh god, oh god, let me go, let me go. Probably should take the elevator back to the lobby. I'm gonna die like this. But plenty of healing items and suit repair kits. Let's go to the lobby. Morgan, you anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds, history. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station, just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null way. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk, but we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this, to murder a species, and the research, lost, it's... And you were is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earthside. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. Okay, and we got a new transcribe as well. Well, here we are. Hopefully you'll never have to listen to this recording, but if you do, then something unfortunate's happened to me. I suspect you've seen enough by now to abandon the notion of destroying Talos One. I've always been the one who thought we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me that we could do anything we imagined. No matter how ridiculous. I hope you still believe that. If not, then I'm glad I died before seeing my sister succumb to pessimism. We have the data to confirm what you suspected. The coral is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching out to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message, and who is listening to it. I have a feeling you already know. I'm carrying a fabrication plan for the prototype null wave device you conceived. Make one then place it at the heart of the coral. We will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Good luck, Morgan. I just regret... I won't be at your side to see it happen. Okay. So the fabricator in our office, as I suspected, still works. So we can make the prototype null wave transmitter. So that is that. So that is a special type of null wave device. The heart of the coral is in psychotronics, in the original containment cylinder. Placing the null wave device there will override the entire coral network with our own signal. Morgan. Use your psychoscope to locate the exact spot. Why is Michaela not the goal yet? I, th I totally missed her there. I thought January was the only one left here. But I'm going to make both. There we go. Let's make Alex's arming key as well. Do we get another call after that? So now we have complete control over what we want to do. Either we go to the reactor and blow things up, or we go to the heart of the coral and take out the monstrosity surrounding the station without killing everybody. This is the point I'm going to make a save. Or should I say another save, right? Because I've made a few now. Um, I can just basically... Oof. It's big, isn't it? Um, I can just run... So the first thing we're gonna do, if this is actually the end of the game, we're gonna go to the heart of the coral and fix everything like that. So I'm not gonna care about what's over here. So there's a giant tentacle over there. But the heart of the coral is, of course, in Psychotronics, where everything started. The shuttle, the shuttle where the first mimic was... And that's exactly where we're gonna head next. Here we go. If your Ooh. idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering. Scan the apex? Can I scan this thing? I think we might have to... Well, sacrifice ourselves. I can actually shoot these things, but I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Heart of the coral. But, yeah, I don't know how, what this is going to do. 
So let's just run around. Uh, we need to head... Yeah, so we need to head up the stairs, because this is, of course, not where we need to be. God damn it. I'm just going to make a run for it. I don't think anything useful is going to be left in here. It's actually surprisingly little enemies in my way. Because I just need to head up now, through that main area, which is probably going to have enemies. I hear, like, mimics. I hear lots of gurgly noises, but maybe I should just skip all that. And then open up this door. And now we're back here. Back at the heart of the coral, the shuttle where everything started. The video we saw of the one mimic infecting the other and uh, creating the first weaver who started making this coral. And the weaver also capable of turning humans into phantoms and so on and so forth. This is where the infection started. And uh, right there, we need to plug that in. So let's do just that. There is definitely cystoids. There we go. Killed that guy by accident. And then this is apparently... No, they're, they're busy. They're busy. I'm just going to go around. I don't need to spend any more time in here than I need to. This is going to explode. But by that time, I can get outside. There we go. There we go. I don't need to worry about anything. I could technically heal myself up again. Just in case anything happens. But I feel like this is it. We've come a long way. About 25 episodes, 26 episodes. But part of the coral, the boy the no-way transmitter. You better do something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. They're lying to you. Hurry. And there we go with another flash. Back, Got forward, whatever. We can finish this thing once and for all. The bridge? Assume Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? You're taking a massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Typhon. In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self-aware. Yet you're going to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One that feeds on consciousness. These are shark-infested waters. Alex believes we can be the bigger shark. But what if we're just poor swimmers? And now there's blood in the water. So, but with that logic, that logic doesn't make sense. Because if there are other creatures out there, what difference would it make that we actually take out the station? Absolutely nothing, I think. Oh, Jesus Christ. This place is looking worse and worse. I'm just going to run through with my super speed and continue consuming the army of bananas still in my uh, inventory. So we're fine. I can survive all of this. Even on this uh, this here hard difficulty. We also have that chipset that saves us from a mortal blow. Which is why we survived that first scanning attack from the, uh, the Giganta Typhon. Okay. Hi. And well, as long as there's stuff alive, there we go, just keep blasting away. Yeah, you guys can't do anything to me anymore. I am fine, I am a gold in this place. But yeah, let's just skip the giant thing that probably could kill this gold. And just move, move back out. Move back out. Bye bye. Bye bye, heart of the, the, the coral. So remember the bridge? The bridge is accessible from the Arboretum. So we're gonna have to, well, go up. And then use the elevator to go to the Arboretum. Because that's where we need to go, because the reactor console is actually really cool with the elevator now. The decision is literally as far as it can be from one another. Because the bridge is all the way up top, and the reactor is all the way on the other side of the station. Which, uh... Well, kind of nicely visualizes the uh, differences between the, the two major decisions you need to make. Okay. Oh, wow. I forgot about this. I don't know why, but I forgot about this. So, of course, we need to head to the Arboretum to reach the bridge. And the bridge is now over there. So that's right underneath the monster. 
which is fun. That's fun, right? So let's just boost all the way around. We have free reign of everything now. We kind of have the speed as well to evade the uh, the creatures, but it's supposed to be on the right. So let's just dive into the elevator. There we go. That forces us down immediately. And then we can go to the bridge. Ah, the bridge. Morgan, Sigwe, what's the update on our patient? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I've informed him of the threat to the station and... Fine, Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. Okay, so I'm guessing we will be able to go to the shuttle bay after this with all the survivors. Um, so, let's talk to Alex. I do love that there's a lot of areas that you don't really need to go to until the end. Nonsense. Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future, Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you'll be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um... Jesus! You made the right choice. The terminal's linked up again. It should only take a few seconds for a signal to propagate through the coral and lobotomize every Typhon on Talos 1, including the big one outside. The rest of us should get away with a mild headache. I'll let you do the honors, but wow. you better hurry. They really didn't give us a lot of time to make that decision. I thought they were going to just stand there and let me make my decision. No, they were going for each other's throat there. Um, so don't worry, I made a separate save file before all of this kicked off. So we're going to do the other direction as well. Don't worry about all of that. I'm just going to check January. Nothing special. And we can transmit the null wave transmitter. Here we go. And we got... Ooh, do, not, do no harm. So that's completing the game without killing a human. So I got that one. So this is definitely the ending of the game then. Interesting. And there everything goes. What is a neuromod? And there goes the well, shuttle. Well, an easy answer. A complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does. Every employee working together. It's immortality. And it is beautiful. Okay. So it's definitely not an upbeat ending. The shuttle left, so we saw... Oh, wow, that's just it. Damn. Um, I'm gonna mute the audio here, because I think this might be a copyrighted music, but wow. It just ends like that, doesn't it? So it seems like January was right. Kinda. Alex did went on to just continue with Transtar and the Neuromods, and we know the Neuromods are dangerous because they contain Typhon material. Because if all the Typhon material would have been gone with what we just did, then the Neuromods wouldn't work anymore as well. So this is a weird ending. A very, very weird ending, because we didn't get any uh, conclusion about what those flashbacks were, and that was a mimic. <laughs> Okay, this is a weird end credit scene. Can we skip this? We can. I'll probably let it run in our final episode because this is not going to be the final episode. Now entering a hidden location. So what is this going to be? Oh, okay. LGV 3.5. And there we go. 
It's finished. How did it do? It. Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us, but its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? It also found my father's records. And then, I did not expect this. But it let me listen to them. Despite the self-incriminating content, it was willing to make itself vulnerable. Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Okay. Sir, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. This is mind-blowing. This is so awesome. So those were the four main characters we could interact with. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. Because, yeah, Alex looks a lot older as well. Yes. There's the world today. Oh, crap, Nuzzles. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. I'm a Typhon. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. Um, but take Alex's hand. Yes. We're gonna shake things oh, up. Oh, wow. Like old times. Wow. That was amazing. So, the entire game. I'm just. Wow, I'm just reeling from this. The entire game, so that's 25 hours and 30 minutes. I think that's an autosave because I think I ended it a bit longer than that. My save file said something else, but that means that the entire game was not really a simulation. We relived Morgan Hughes' memories, but as a Typhoon. The fact that Alex was there means that Alex survived. Alex always survived in what actually happens. It survived. He survives. But the four others were operators. Which means that they probably died on the station. Alex was a lot older as well in that last scene. Which makes sense because this is of course further in the future where Earth clearly has taken over has been taken over by the Typhon, and that leaves it open for a sequel, of course. But the cool thing is that, so we were always playing as a Typhon. 
And that makes the decisions you make all the more impactful because now at the end you get a sort of review of all the choices you made by the humans that are experimenting on the Typhon human, the bridge between the Typhon and the humans. And that was such an amazing twist. I knew there was something going on. We got a few glimpses of the, the Alex with those few operators that something was going on, but there's still that voice, they're lying to you. And I'm assuming that's the big Typhon, the whatever creature that is surveying all the Typhon creatures is trying to convince us to not go with the humans. By the way, the screen has been glitching in that final sequence as well. And I'm gonna try to freeze that to see what else is in there. Ah, I think I can see it on the menu screen. It's just, uh, Morgan with the, the helmet on, um, which is cool. But I'm wondering if there was another image in the uh, in the end, the end scene there. And what an amazing way to do a recap of your decisions. That's really, really nicely done. Especially the, the, the decision to take those four characters that were pretty much the only characters you really interacted with. So Michaela, Igwe, um, Danielle and uh, Sarah. So those were the four characters you really had conversations with. Um, and they basically just judge you based on what you did with their memories, with their previous versions. Because of course the operators, as we know, are copies from the person that they were based on at the time that we, they were copied from. So they're not exactly the same person because they can evolve differently which is a big theme in this game that your character and consciousness can evolve in a completely different direction depending on what happens to you so basically the nature versus nurture theory that you're influenced by what happens to you way more than how you are uh, than what what you are in your on your own right so you you have kind of an influence on what you do, but it's also heavily influenced by what happens to you. And that's made really, really clear here. So we can actually kind of assume that what the ending that we chose is probably the ending that actually happens. Unless the, the ending where you blow up the station basically has the same result. The Typhoon somehow survive and still infect Earth with uh, and take it over with whatever means they can. But it's interesting to see how the ending is pretty much focused on a few key components that you can only, that you only really get if you read a lot of the emails. Because the biggest point at the end there is that Alex basically tried to make a Typhon that has empathy. We know from a few of the emails that that's the biggest difference between humans and Typhon. The reason that Typhon just attack humans on sight and do whatever they want with them is that they lack empathy. They can't feel what their targets, their prey, in this case, their prey, which is probably where the name now comes from, kind of makes sense now. We're just the Typhon's prey. Um, what they, their prey actually feels. So they don't empathize with it, they don't feel anything for it, so they just do whatever they want with it. And that was something that Alex really focused on now at, the, at that last scene, in that last scene. He really focused on the fact that does this creature that we've created, does this hybrid that we've created based on my sister, which is even harder for him, I would imagine, does that creature feel empathy towards humans because if they can make one if they can influence one why not convince the entire typhoon race to just work with humans instead of trying to destroy them that's why that last decision was so important you get again even after all we've done we get the simple choice reach out take alex's hand or kill them all the other option was so so harsh kill them all it just makes me wonder what ha what would happen if you do that again do you get the same option nonetheless take the hand or kill them all regardless of what other choices you made or are there subtle difference between those that's what we're gonna explore in the next episode so we're gonna end it here but this is not the final episode of prey it's the penultimate episode in the next episode we're gonna blow up the station and try a few of the older options 
So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. And see you guys in the next and probably final episode of Brain. Goodbye.